we're going to talk about McDojo, what that means, what it is. And keep in mind, it's subjective. Everybody has different ideas. George Carlin used to say, when you're driving on the freeway, have you ever noticed that everybody driving slower than you is an idiot and everybody driving faster than you is a maniac? And it's kind of like that. So I can really only give you my opinion of what a McDojo is, but keep in mind, I was part of the process for a good number of years. I bought into that McDojo mentality and I thought I was doing good and and now I know better. But that's a story for another page. Today I'm going to tell you, or for another video, and today I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, a few things that constituted McDojo. And if you're thinking of enrolling in the studio, you might look at these things as a template for what to avoid. Okay, a real martial art will only sell you two things. One, training in that martial art, instruction in that martial art. And two, whatever peripherally you need to successfully participate. Most dojos will sell you a uniform. A taekwondo and competition karate studios will sell you pads. But aside from those few things, real martial arts teachers don't have a lot of time to sell you a lot of crap. But a McDojo has to have a bill of goods that will keep the cash flowing. So they'll sell you different uniforms for different different days of the week. Of course, you don't need that. Uh, you can have two uniforms same color and wash them interchangeably. They'll sell you uh, hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers, a lot of workshops and seminars that come right before tests. And they sell a lot of tests every three months. You're testing for a new rank different belts, belts, different stripes. They keep creating belts to make new ranks, to make new money. They'll sell you that. They'll sell seminars, workshops, birthday parties, and sleepovers, and summer camps. And all of these will be in preparation for a test. So, if your dojo is having samurai sleepovers and birthday parties where they're cutting the cake with a samurai sword and kicking a pinata, it's probably a McDojo. Okay, two. Real martial arts training is hard and it's off-putting. I heard someone say within the first three jujitsu classes, you violated every principle of appropriate touch. And I've seen people leave Kung Fu class miserable in tears. But that's what it's about. Kung Fu is hard because life is hard and you have to be strong to make it through. Nobody can give you a magic pill. But a McDojo will. It's the feel-good pill. And it works well with the everybody gets a trophy generation. A martial arts studio will never claim simply to be challenging. Challenging means nobody ever fails tests. Challenging means they take you to that point before they know you're thinking about quitting. And they stop you right there. So, if you're at a dojo that has classes that are fun for all ages and challenging, but nobody ever fails a test, it's probably a McDojo. Okay, three, a real martial arts studio, no matter what it is, will hold itself up to the scrutiny of the community. Real jiu-jitsu <clears throat> schools will roll with other schools. Real karate schools will go to sanctioned tournaments to pit themselves against uh, other schools of like-minded martial artists. A McDojo has to protect you from that. A McDojo has to make sure that you don't ever have your fantasy broken. I remember I went right before I started this McDojo ordeal, I went to Bob Cheney's dojo and he had 500 students in one location and then he had three other locations. And I asked him, uh, how do you do that? How do you have 500 students? And he said, you know what I've come to realize? You have to protect their fantasy. And that should have been my first clue, and it probably was, but I put it away because I didn't want to hear it. But I went back to my partner and I said, you know, this is what Bob Cheney said. And he said, oh, oh, I wouldn't say their fantasy. I, I'd say our job is to protect their dream. But a dream is very different from a fantasy, isn't it? And McDojo sell you a fantasy. And so if your school is having inner school tournaments where everybody participates and everybody gets a prize, it's probably a McDojo. Okay, maybe this is the last one unless I come up with something different uh, while I'm doing this one. 
a real dojo is real. Real martial arts training is real. And real is, is scary. And scary is just like hard in principle is adverse to uh, uh, enrollment. In practice, it's detrimental to retention. It's hard. Some people may think they come in and then they go. The same way real is detrimental to enrollment. And uh, it has, it, I don't know how it affects retention because parents just won't come to a real studio, won't bring their kids to a place. I remember when we opened, I had a plaque that I've always carried with me that said, the more you bleed in here, the less you'll bleed out there. And my partner was, oh, no, 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 we can't put that up there. The, the, the parents will hate that. Uh, okay, so I bought into that at that point too. Oh, maybe I should have said something, but I didn't. In any case, it's real. It's not just focused on the pretend, because really, when you get right down to it, if you put on a gi and throw on a few wrist locks and bow and say some words in Japanese that you don't really understand, except contextually, you're LARPing. And so if you have self-defense workshops at your dojo, where the first thing they talk about is the legal ramifications of self-defense, and then they say, Grab my wrist. It's probably a McDojo. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I think that's probably pretty much it. If you have any thoughts, go ahead and leave them at uh, Real Kung Fu is Hard at Gmail. Looking forward to talking to you soon.